leave the short man alone, Kadisha. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them alone. I'm they just, can't take I'm it just at this point, I'm just you know, picking they up fragile. data. They fragile I, I'm, I'm they just little. picking up data because I don't want to make it seem like I'm just pulling shit out my ass. I, I just, <laughs> you know, I got data points at this point. Uh, no Clarence. Cause that, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's what's popping, y'all? Good golly. No Clarence. <laughs> no Clarence. <laughs> This grave like ship is like a like a slave ship. God damn. <laughs> we back. Wow. We back. <laughs> it's a new year. I'm happy I to be I, here. I, I just can't keep working like this. <laughs> mm, the ghetto. <laughs> Welcome to Jam Rock. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I mean, god damn. It's it's we made it to another year. God bless. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey man. We start- we started off strong. Can we can we can we praise him for one good one? <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. The Lord is good all the time. All the time. Yeah, though I walk through the valley <laughs> of the shadow of death. I feel all right, now nah, for real, for real. What's happening, y'all? What's going on? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? We good. Uh, I feel good. Yeah, it's good. Great. It's kind of been a um, first day back at work <laughs> in a break. So. Mm. You know, yeah, adjusting to that, but yeah. it's cool, man. Yeah, heavy on adjusting. Yes, yeah, it's cool. I oh. forgot. How, what did y'all do for New Year's? What did y'all like have going on? Yeah, I was on my old man shit. I stayed hey. home, watch football, <laughs> watch football. By the way, those were like, and normally the football games be disappointing during this time mm. of the year. But those were some of the best football games I've seen in a long time. And it was like, all right, it was actually worth it. Just stay home and watch these games for, for once. So it was cool. Damn. Shout out to this TCU. Shout out to Georgia and that's the championship. I can't wait to watch that. But it was cool, man. Shout out to my <laughs> wife for letting me watch it. She, you know. Not for letting me watch it. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> no, man, because sometimes I'll be watching football and. I go upstairs for, for two minutes, boy. Netflix is on. <laughs> Netflix hey. is on. So shoot, I can't watch football either. Every time I got it on, I leave the room. It's off. It's just, just cut <laughs> off. Like, I ain't watching this shit. Yeah, she let me. She that sounds about right. Tune in, man. Yeah. She let me tune in. Oh, and shout uh, out what, what did you do? Day. What did you do for New Year's, Jay? I went to uh, I, w- I went to a New Year's Eve party. Okay. You know, and I I bought a bunch of Chinese food because it's supposed to be a potluck. Okay. The part of a potluck is everybody got to bring food. Oh, shit. Yeah. Niggas everybody was eating on my niggas, Jay something. Tell me why me and Jada was the only one who brought food. So we fed everybody. Thank God we overbought by accident. How the hell you overbought I'm like, by I'm accident? A, I, I'm low-key like, hey. Run me my check. Run me my check. No, for real. Somebody owe you something. Somebody, Somebody owe me something. Nah, they need, they need to come up off something. <laughs> That's a big fact. But you know, Chi- nice. I don't know about y'all, but Chinese food don't be $2. That's nope, not nope. a dollar menu kind nope. of a splurge. Yeah, it was good Chinese food, too. It's it's Jay Lee, Khadijah. It was Jay oh. Lee. We went hey, to Jay Lee. We don't play around. Niggas got the fucking Louis Vuitton. Yes. Of Chinese. Tyler, this is the best Chinese food you probably would ever have in your whole entire life. In the oh, South Shore, the, I said it. to the dragon joint that you took me to, back. No, that wasn't good Chinese food. That was Chinese food I grew up with. <laughs> yeah, different. so it's it's that more a of like a... nostalgia moment. There you this go. is the best Chinese food I have ever had in my life. The fried chicken. You oh. know, they, usually the you know Chinese food restaurants. It's like a it's cooked weird. I don't know how to explain how they cook it. It's it's not no cooked seed. weird. It's cooked in that old ass oil yeah. that's yeah. been sitting there since nineteen. Yeah, but the skin seventy two. They don't cook it crispy. That's what I'm saying. It's not crispy. It's like shiny skin. I can't explain it, but mm. it's still good. This fried chicken is fried. This chicken is fried. Mm. Fried. It's fried, good. dyed, and laid they, to the goddamn side. Woo. Full to go box full of rice. <laughs> Both pockets, and I mean the, the 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 the, the, Over. the the box is like busting. Hey, you know what I mean? You like they it, stuff. You don't even know it. You don't even know it got pockets in it. There's so much rice in there. Then exactly. they put the ribs, the spare ribs oh. on top of that shit. They put a little bit Chicken of that fingers. crack on top of the spare. Yeah, ribs. Yeah, they sprinkle some on that. 
And it hey. was busy on New Year's. They had their, do- their two daughters that spoke p- perfect English working, the young daughters. Oh, they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, had to, they was not playing, though. They was hey, like, hurry up, hurry up. putting them through college. Because yeah. usually it's the owner. And that guy's rude as hell, but it's because it's Hey, accent. you know what? I've realized that like, hello! Chinese Scream places, at you. I'm not looking for politeness. You know yeah, what I no, mean? I need no. that cutthroat, you know, the fuck do you need? What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Wait 30 years and I, I'll let you know when you're good and ready. He was I like, need oh, like, you want the beef and broccoli? He was like, you want the beef and broccoli? Yeah, beef and broccoli, plate, the plate. Or the or the or the mail, the plate of the mail, the plate of the mail, the plate of the mail. But imagine, I love it because they'll accent. repeat it, and it's like, yeah. well, if you like, kind of shut up, I can give you the name. Yeah, answer. they they don't give you a chance to answer. <laughs> what they sauce be bad aggressive. Be coming with y'all, what sauces come with y'all food? Duck sauce. Yeah, crazy duck sauce. if you don't get duck sauce. Yeah, you get duck sauce. Mm-hmm. Well, Khadija, I don't know if you know. I've told Jay this a million times. Oh, okay. many, many times. But it, in the DMV. If you order twelve piece wing, it comes yeah. with mambo sauce, like automatic. The mambo sauce is there; it's hidden. You only find. But, hey, is that okay. Chinese I had mambo though? sauce one time. Yes, you and gotta that... go. To, you go to a Chinese spot, and you get the red mambo sauce. That's the original. Okay. I've been to other places mambo. that make their own shit. The red mambo. mambo sauce. You go to a Chinese mali, spot. Mali, mali, mali. Hey, you mambo. Order some wings. It's slap. I don't know how the fuck I know random ass songs. <laughs> It's a gift. <laughs> oh, my Holy shit. We, that's, that's the... Let's get into some... Hey, let's, let's, let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. We just ran right. quick, Real quick, man. Shout out to my boy, PJ, man. His birthday was on the first. You know I have a birthday, birthy, PJ. Happy year. birthday, PJ. He was a guest once before your time, Khadija. He was a guest. Before your time. Alrighty. Let's yes. get to it. Hey, PJ. <laughs> Oh, guys, guess what? We, what? Over Chicken our butt. break, oh, no. over our break, we got two reviews. I did peek. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roll reviews. them out, roll them out. All right, we, them this out, first one, out. this first one from December 22nd, as you know, we was on break. The title is It's Liddy, Great Show, The Host of Too Funny, from Nietzsche J. Simple, mm. straight <laughs> to the point. I like that. But Jay, like, was one, that you, Nietzsche J? No. Okay. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Not this time. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got to be your biggest fan. I right? know that's fucking I, right. I used Jada's phone, so you never know which ones was me. Um, and this next one, <laughs> <laughs> this next one is from from Eli T forty nine. I think I know who. What this up, is. Eli? It says an inside scoop to the real talk. Wow, golly. Yeah, yeah. We scooping shit like nachos. It's our scoop. The No (laughs) Class Podcast is a breath of fresh air to its audience. The tone and care that is put into its creation is well stated by the quality of each episode. Mm. I've known these guys for years. Now it's exciting to hear their perspective on current events, the past, and future. Get ready for a laugh, good time, and even even thought-provoking material. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's that just nice. remind me, you know, that kid you call on to read. It's like, you got it, Jimmy. Go ahead. Hey, he understood the assignment. <laughs> he, had, he 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 took his, he put some care in it. He proofread. You know what I mean? Hey, you Kandisha, got it. I know what you're talking about. Hey, you, and you know he about to read. You be like, oh, Lord. Hey, he <laughs> oh, man. He oh, come. brother. But you, but you know what? He took his time writing that, and I appreciate it. Yes. That was really sweet. That was nice. Yeah, every time we get one of those, it makes me smile. Yeah, and I'm glad somebody recognizes the work that goes into this. Yeah, like I so, think, exactly. I think people don't really respect content creators, and they be like, "Oh, they don't." Nah, it's it's a lot that goes it's into. This. Work. Obviously, we got to make sure we talking good shit and not just on here. But then the editing, the audio, yeah. making sure shit look good, sound good. You know what I mean? It's a lot. It so a lot. appreciate that, Eli. But if you guys want your reviews read on the show. Just leave a five star review on Apple and write some shit. Some did, nice shit, some mean shit. I don't yeah, think yeah. they let us see the yeah. bad shit. I don't think yeah. you should cuss. Don't cuss in it. If you write cuss words, they, they, we ain't gonna be able to see it. I know for, for real. A fact. I know for a fact. Oh, you I, lint liquor. Yeah, somebody <laughs> sent me a review. Kumquat. They wrote. <laughs> someone sent me a re- review. They wrote, and it still ain't pop up. That was like a week ago. Oh, mm. okay. They cussed a lot. Did they? Sw- oh, okay. 
Got it. They specifically <laughs> said fuck Tyler, but <laughs> oh, for real. <laughs> yeah, but but they put dog. the winky. They put the wink emoji. Oh, I think I know who that was. And it is. <laughs> We know who it is, Khadija. Okay, all right. You know say. who it is too. <laughs> I'm just gonna sip this. Actually, no, I don't see it on there. Yeah, no, it's not there. It was like a week ago. Oh, but okay. um, yeah, leave a five star review on everything. Like, I yeah, haters, appreciate man. it for real. Got a lot of haters. Hey, hit the know, hit the know goddamn bell. Yeah, hit the damn bell. Hit that goddamn bell. This episode is brought to you by the good people at No Clearance. All right, go to noclearancepod.com slash shop. We have merchandise for you to wear. Please support the brand. Okay, we got our new clearance collection. All right, with the Defy the Trends, Be the Standard shirts, as well as the No Clearance coll- uh, shirt and the Superior No Clearance shirt with the dad hats. Dad hats are selling big. Okay, so please make sure you go to noclearancepod.com slash shop, buy you some merch to support the podcast so we can get bigger and better every week. Thank you. Back to the show. Uh, Okay, so let's get into it. We, because cause now we're just like, you know, with our stuff in our hands. Yeah. Uh, we're, there's a lot to talk about. I, first thing I wanted to talk about was I wanted to get on a goddamn mic and talk about Megan the motherfucking stallion. Yeah, she's been ju- she's been justified. <laughs> she's been relieved of the stress. This I'm too shall pass. Yes. Fuck you, Tori. Finally, something good. And fuck everybody that said, oh, the bitch is lying. Wooty wooty woo. Motherfucker did it. My whole Caught thing on is audio like- on a prr- Wait, call they got this. About- did he not know that they record the phone calls when you in jail? I mean, I don't think this <laughs> man is watching short, but I didn't think he was Law and Order SVU. I, I mean, every you know, know what I mean? First 48. There's so many law shows that maybe tell you, Canada. hey, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe in Canada they don't record those lines, but I don't oh, know. Oh, they respect privacy in He's Canada? Fuck that. This, I'm, you're telling me the whole time they had this recorded. <laughs> But you see how they, and I think that's some sneaky motherfucking shit too. I'm gonna be honest. Well, I think they couldn't release it. They couldn't release that. That would have messed up the case. They would have. They would have thrown it out. It would have been out. Been thrown out. Especially if it got out. If they already had it and then it got leaked, then they would have thrown out the case because then evidence. So they had to keep that wrap. But like, Mm. you're telling me the whole time Meg knew was Meg was like they they go they heard all this shit. It's like you know they gonna find out the truth gonna come out. I just, you know, she just kept doing what she was doing. Good how you feel, Casey? How you? I, I mean, you, you kind of been express yourself, but I you mean, I'm gonna time? be honest. Santa came early. <laughs> 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 you know, God is good all the time. All the time, He is good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to say that I, I think we got fixated on who did it. I don't give a fuck if Nemo did it. Somebody shot the girl. The girl was shot. Yeah. Period blank. That was a period point blank. That was it's, not okay. Uh, and I think that's the thing that I was like frustrated with is like, I get it, right? We want to know who did it. It doesn't matter. The girl was harmed and it mm. wasn't okay. Now, I heard a perspective of some girl. She was like, oh, well, you want to, Megan want to uplift black women, but then you want to sleep with the girl who should not be named. You know, you want to mess with people that she's messed with or something like that. And I'm just like, I'm not saying, like, that's not a valid point or whatever. What's valid also about like, that? That don't sound valid to me at all. It do yeah. sound valid. I I would say I get where she was coming from. She was saying, how you going to uplift black women and then you going to turn around and do a black woman dirty? I understood the connection she was trying to make. Where I do not... Wait, hold on oh, okay. now. Okay. Where I do not get it is the justification of it being like, Oh, it's okay for her to get shot because she, you okay. know, fucked, okay. fucked around. Was she was that- more so justifying the fact that she, uh, she was trying to basically call her. A, um, what do you call it? She's not practicing what she preaches. Essentially, like mm. you talk about uplifting black women, but here you are doing your homegirl dirty like that. But here's my, my thing. she kind of preaching all that shit though. Don't she? Oh, she be she talking about. I don't know what she be preaching, technically speaking, but if you just go about the music. She preaching, she like, protect it. the black women, uplift the black women, which I don't ever, I, I've never heard her 
do or say anything to combat that. So, and I mean, bitches fuck on niggas all the time. Let's That's stop acting like she. Yeah, I don't think that makes it mean she's not uplifting black women just because she stole some girls, some some dudes from some some. And woman. how we know her friend didn't sit a man? How do hmm? my thing is my thing is if her friend was white, she still probably would have stole them niggas. It's just like I think she's just. I think it's like she just goes take a nigga. She, she just don't do people dirty. I guess she do her girls dirty. That's why you know. That's why Real that friendship shit. probably deteriorated. <laughs> she probably learned a lesson from that. I didn't think Tory Lanez was good enough for niggas to be defending him in the first place. It, hey, you hit let's the let's, let's add to that. In the gravity in which they were defending the man. Yeah. I didn't understand it. Like, it, this nigga is not... The he's not the greatest artist. Like I, I, I was very confused. I was very confused. Like niggas was standing up for him, like he was Michael Jackson. Yeah, hey. like what? yo, they was. Yeah. I didn't know so many people liked Toy Lanez. To be honest, like until I, this I, I didn't, I didn't cool. understand it either. I didn't know that. It's cool, but I'm like, I could leave him in 2022. I'd be straight. If I ain't hear another yeah. Toy Lanez song, I'm good. Hey, I listened to a Toy Lanez song since that shit happened, and my life mm. is completely fine. I'm I ain't not, missing I'm nothing. Not, I I feel I, like I ain't missing nothing. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna yeah, hop on the mic yet again. I swear to God, before the trial and all this other stuff, that nigga shit never popped up on my music. Okay, mm. I have never heard "I Ain't Been Broken a Minute" pop up on my shit hey, as I much would. as it does now. To the point where I'm just like, man, I was Damn. not putting this bitch in rotation before. I Why like are you song. forcing this upon song. me? You but think he, no, but I, you think he put money into it so he could try I and get swear, oh, I, yeah, for I sure. He had to. I wouldn't doubt it. He had to, he had to do something. The label had to is, do something. That's an investment. Yeah. They, they put a lot my, of money. Yeah, they, they trying to get they, they, they shit my back. My thing is, I'm just still impressed that Tory Lanez even got to the point where he is now because I remember listening to, watching his music videos on Warstar back in like 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I was like, oh, this guy's good. But, like, I didn't think he was going to be, like, a top artist for, like, he, but yeah. he was a top artist for, like, a week because he had a top chart I mean, song. At the time, yeah. it was He had a couple chart songs. Bryson. So, like, like, you know. Moment, it was him and Bryson Tiller, like, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. Like, 2016 was a strong year for him. Yeah. I 2016 also think was a real too, strong year. People, I, I, Tori, you, you, you got fame or you get hype off of other people's songs. Like I've yeah. never, I, I don't, I cannot think of any of his like chart topping shit. That's not his shit. It's like a it's remix to some other cover. Body. You yeah, know, he, yeah. he's a cover artist. He's a fraud. <laughs> Literally, he's a cover artist. And this Remember, is he like made a, that album I where mean, he spoke whole, in between every song. Oh, that whole was al- He's done whole albums of just straight up covers. Yeah. Glorified covers. Let's the chicks tapes. I mean, I will admit, he did make yeah. some solid music. I'm not gonna say like he was a bum. But like, he made some solid music, and there's no need to defend this nigga. That's yeah, really no need to defend. Not the to way the they gravity did. in which people were doing. I absolutely agree. They was acting like this nigga was Jay Z. They was acting like this nigga was Drake. They were acting like this nigga walk they, on water. Yeah, like, they was God clapping damn. for him like he paid everybody's mama's ha- bills you, and state yeah. protect. Like I was like, okay, was crazy. And it's like I was like, again, oh, let me like, find out he done paid if, all these motherfuckers off. Even mm-hmm. if he didn't do it, like. For Meg to be, you know, to, doubted to be shot and to mm. be hurt in his presence, and you yeah. know, he was like that close to the situation. You mm. really got to start questioning the man. You yeah, exactly. Yeah. If if there was another man there that shot her and he didn't do nothing, and he's the one that's being blamed for it, yeah. Why would you to take that blame? You know what I'm saying? Why right. would you? Why would you not tell them like, hey, I didn't do it. This person did it, unless you did it yourself. Like, you just lying to the world, telling them, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. It didn't go that way. It didn't go that way. It don't matter which way it went. You still had a gun and shot at her. Even if it was like, oh, it didn't go that way. You guys was arguing. That's besides Mm. the fact. That's not okay. Like, God forbid, if it was such a, I'd rather he put his hands on it and shoot at her. At least if you put a hit, he put it, but it's still a terrible thing, but he's still like, you have to consciously take the gun out. Like if you hit her, like, Oh, smacked her. It's a mm-hmm. emotional reaction. Like you can't control you. Sometimes when you, you're upset, you Reflex. can't control. Exactly. Yeah. If she put his, her hands on him and stuff. Right. Cause apparently she was given a one, two. 
That's mm. what I heard. I heard she was two pieces of that nigga in the car. Mm. But like I understand a situation like that. He put his hands on her in that situation. And I like, okay, it's not, you know, like it's not okay, but like that's more understandable. You had to reach in your fucking bag. It was, pull it out was a gun. what do they call it? Premeditated. Yeah, that no. shit was premeditated. Like it's the intent. Because you had you, you you're gonna tell me that you didn't think you had a lot of mm-hmm. opportunity to retreat. And exactly. not do it. And, and he shot through, through the window. The nigga had to roll the window down. Mm. See what I'm saying? <laughs> the nigga had to think of the fucking dance bitch dance. Like, it's the intent. That's why a lot of times when shit happens and people get harder, harsher charges, it's based off mm. the intent of what they did. Yeah, not you what, had too, too, too many opportunities to kind of get it together. And I just feel, I, I, I feel bad for Megan. And no, let me not say feel bad, but I feel her pain because... Can you imagine the world and all these people just like doubting you and like discrediting you? And now it turns out like you knew the truth. Right. And I think that's the shit that must fuck with her is like, yeah, I've been screaming the truth all along. And, and nobody, you know, me. and nobody believed you. I just I think that the people that said it wasn't true or whatever and said she's a liar. I think shame on you. You should be ashamed of yourself. And right now we need to lift her up, and this is gonna sound really cliche, but we need to lift her up in prayer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna because lie. she she gonna, gonna need lie. all the I blessings said, and all the good word. I never said she wasn't, you know, none ever happened to her, but I did for a while question who did it only because of what was coming out. Yeah. Now, it I was always question. you gotta think of it, it was very splotchy, the information yeah. we're getting. It was just like inconsistent. Yeah. yeah. Like but, I knew and she was injured. Of, yeah. yeah. I didn't know who did it for sure. Yeah, but he's Motherfucker still like, tried to take down a stallion. That yeah, shit crazy. You can't take down a stallion. Yeah. <laughs> the nigga a need a buffalo. Horse. The nigga need an ele- elephant gun to take I down a stallion. Saying. Not a pea shooter. So what's next? <laughs> what do you, I mean, if I'm in, if, uh, if you're in Meg's shoes, mm-hmm. like, how, how do we move on from this? How do you, you know? She... <sighs> I, I think she really needs to take her time. Don't feel rushed. Kind of really do some inner. And I think this is the other thing. And Cardi B pointed this out. And I was like, fuck, I completely forgot. I think that people don't remember or forget that she doesn't have these pillars in her life. And by pillars, I mean, she don't got her mom. She don't got her dad. Like, these are people that kind of help you and guide you through this. She unfortunately has lost her parents. Right. I believe she lost one of her grandmothers. Like these are a lot of monumental people in your life that kind of guide you through bullshit like this. So she's going through some traumatic shit and damn near alone. Like, yeah, she has her her boyfriend and her fans. But yeah, especially when it's a friend that also betrayed you in this situation. Right. When you Mm -hmm. don't have family like that, friends, that's your family, you know. So that must be the friend is also that situation just gets sketchier. Why did she perjure herself? If she knew for a fact this nigga called her and said, I'm sorry for what I did. I ain't never done no shit like that before in my life before. I think she said something like, I never seen her injured. Meanwhile, there's a video of like, Megan, you okay? There's a video of her in the ambulance. (laughs) If she wasn't crucially hurt like that, the ambulance wouldn't have taken her. You are dumb. Like, dumb. <laughs> yeah, like, just dumb. She like catch a charge, because for Toy Lanes, you already admitted. You, you see what I'm saying? The statement. She's off. The fact, the fact of the matter is she already snitched and then decided, to, oh, I plead a fifth. You can't plead a fifth when they ask you a yes or no question that doesn't incriminate you. They will, <laughs> if, they, if you're in court, mm-hmm. just for this is for people who don't know. Pleading right. the fifth is only... When you're asked if you were done, if you if people they ask you if you did a crime, like you yourself, yes, because it's only if you Good were to know. say something that would incriminate yourself. If they ask you, did Tory Lanes shoot her, and you already wrote that in your statement, and you say I plead a fifth, th- there's nothing to plead a fifth to. It's a yes or no mm-hmm. question because they already know you said it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the only do- thing you're doing is setting yourself up to get a perjury charge. So like. You only plead a fifth is if you go go in to answer a question and it's like, ooh, I was doing some shit too in this story that I'm going to tell you, so I can't tell you. 
I have to plead a fifth. Mm. So like if That's you was on the corner selling drugs with the guy you want you testifying against and you mm. didn't tell them you was there selling drugs too or like you had an illegal gun on you, you plead a fifth. Cause it's, oh, it's okay, the, that makes it's, sense. It's to not incriminate yourself. It's not so you don't have to speak in court. See, but it, it's something about it is giving me that she watches fucking Law and Order SVU first forty eight. Maybe I learned that she's not watching. She's not watching the whole episode, Jay. She's not watching the whole episode. Yeah, she ain't. She's just watching the the, the middle part. Yeah, they, I plead the fifth, I, and then she clocks out. Like, no, yeah. you gotta watch the whole thing through, babe. Just dumbness. dumbness. Watch the whole thing through. Dumbness personified. Well, Megan, I, you still my coach. Hey, Go ahead and get you some rest. Get you Megan get your Spain mind right. Got a, uh, she got a workout program on Nike training that. Hey, oh, she got a that. nice little hey. partnership with Nike. Yeah, she Honestly, got a nice job. Whatever's next for me, I think Megan Stallion already started going towards what's next. I she mean, she was in the MCU. I mean, she dropped the album in the middle of the ca- in the middle of the whole thing. Yeah, hey. in the past two years, she's done. Yeah. Since this happened, she's done nothing but grow even more. So, like, yeah. even people saying back then, what did she have? At two years ago, yeah, when this happened, she was already in this trajectory. So, like, it's not like her. I point. butchered that word, but it's not like she was like a bum bit, like a bum bitch trying to get clout off of Tory. She had, mm. she had more than this nigga. She was popping. She, she was pop. popping. Her. She got her she own really invitation was. to this Kylie party. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Right. <laughs> you ain't lying. Shit. Yeah, she'll be straight, though. She'll be straight. I do feel you. She hey. should take some time, man. Shout out to uh, Partisan, Fontaine. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Hold Who's her down, party? my brother. Hold her down, I'll, King. Hey, hey, hold her down, bro, because I know the restraints you had, brother. Oh, You are a 6'5 giant, and he is a 4'11 troll. And you could have whooped that man till no, you could have killed that man with one punch and you Not held even it. that though, bro. Not even that. This man ain't made one statement the whole time mm-hmm. with the courts going at his girl neck, talking about yep. all the men she done, she done uh, slept with and all this stuff. And this man is just mm-hmm. like, I'm just stay solid. I ain't got no reason uh, to say that. Uh, what? Did he say so? Did he say so? So he said something to Meg and Meg said something in the courtroom. I believe that she said, it, he was embarrassed well, about like kind of well funny. this yeah. is my thing this is my thing i'm not saying that he don't have a right to be embarrassed but in the same breath it's like my nigga do you not hear the raps that your girl like spits well no <laughs> Are you, but like, his, you know what but i mean no, like it's it's different it's different because imagine you don't know who your girl who the person you're with slept with mm-hmm. and then you find out in the public. Wow. So that's where the embarrassment could come from because you don't know where it's coming from. Damn, that's embarrassing, man. I, yeah, I can see he, why yeah, he but it's did. also it's still like, like hey, we're like he at this big ass age. I, I, I give it to him that I don't think he cared when he got with it. Like, I know you yeah. rap, I know you had a history. We don't got to talk about that. Exactly. But And like, you can still be embarrassed. It doesn't mean. He's gonna fucking like, I hate this bitch. Ah, he's just like, that's yeah, yeah, that's not all, all your yeah, business yeah. is put out in the world, and it's like, oh, I didn't know all your business, and it's like, that's a little embarrassing. I'd be embarrassed too, because it's out in the public. Like, if we had this conversation privately, like, I feel like the only reason you'd be embarrassed is if you didn't know who they were. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like. I, I I feel like he was pretty solid through this whole situation. Yeah, I, mean, the I will hey, say, I yeah. The mm-hmm. fact that he has not snatched up Tory is impressive. Yeah, and I think it's 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 more it's more impressive because the a level of restraint. Yes, that has to take. Oh, I know. I would have wanted to kill him. I mean, I mean, it was before we start. We before we were together, but like once you know emotions and then all the shit happening after the fact, like. He should need to snatch the baby's ass up. He need to snatch Drake up. Like, he need to snatch all these dudes up. And he didn't. <sighs> yeah. yeah. How how yeah. tall is Drake? He ain't... He ain't t- Partisan Fonte partisan was about to play D1 man. basketball. Yeah, he is. No, no, yeah. no, but I'm, you're not... Y'all he probably like 5'10". He probably like Drake? Drake? He's like Drake? average height. Yeah, he's like yeah. average height, I feel like. Okay. Why? I was just you, uh, see. I was just trying to see if there was a pattern here. Leave the, the short, let alone, Kadisha. 
<laughs> Leave them alone. I'm they just, can't take I'm it just at this point, I'm just you know, picking they up data. Fragile. They fragile I, I'm, I'm they just little. picking up data because I don't want to make it seem like I'm just pulling shit out my ass. I, I just, <laughs> you know, I got data points at this point. Oh, Drake's like 5'11". Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. 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 Average day. No, damn it. Regular. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> That's wild. That is Meg the Stallion wild. is vindicated, finally. I don't want to hear nobody coming up to me talking about, you know, she still lied. Nigga, he admitted it. Li- <laughs> it admitted it on recorded tape. On a recorded line. Ain't, and he knew the line was recorded. That's what makes it worse. <laughs> they tell you. Well, how they do, tell how do, you. Oh, they tell you before the call goes yeah. through. Oh, oh you're they, right. It's an automated. Yeah. Everybody, they, it's oh, an automated shit. system. You know it's recorded. This motherfucker slow for real. Yeah. On that bullshit. I mean, he must have really <laughs> felt bad. At least you knew he actually felt bad. But like, fuck that nigga. I'll ooh, never forget ooh. when he released that damn album on the day Breonna Taylor's, uh, the Breonna Taylor verdict was uh, announced. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, yeah he did do that shit. It, just, it, it don't make a lick of sense to me. The bro. failure of the black man. He Canadian. I don't Canadian. get that nigga no credit. Don't hey. put that nigga in a black man. <laughs> no. Now you, this has been your narrative for years. If they ain't from America, if I don't want to hear America, it. I'm not counting this black man shit. No, Drake is a Canadian <laughs> ass nigga. So you can't be Canadian and black? Yeah, that look Man, but you're not part of this conversation. You got to be part <laughs> of that conversation. Like whatever me, going on on the north, whatever's going on in the north, that's what y'all that need to way. worry about. Oh, yeah, the north. That's the north shit. I don't know, oh, man. man. <laughs> that's how they talk, eh? I don't know. Y'all want to be hard in Canada? Y'all go do that shit in Canada, man. Don't come down here acting like you a black man in America. No, right? Man, shit Try to act hard. This shit it ain't like that. In, it ain't like that in in Canada. I don't know for a fact. They still owned by the British. That ain't my problem. Y'all go, y- y'all <laughs> like a European yeah. issue. <laughs> He's like, that sounds like a big time Euro issue. Yo, that sounds like international on. affairs. Don't it's not- like, nah, bro. You ain't don't, don't put toy lanes on black men. Whatever Drake up to, don't put that shit on black men. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't fucking well, want it. Well, oh shit. I'm sorry. This episode is brought to you by Canva. Canva is a graphic design platform used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, and other visual content. The app includes templates for users to use to design whatever they want for the free. The platform is free and free to use, but also offers a paid subscription, Canva Pro, which will unlock an even larger library of graphics, images, templates, and videos to add to your designs. So please tap the link in the description and get started. All right. Speaking Uh, of Drake and like, you know, musicians, (laughs) let's talk about... Ah, let's talk about your top three hip hop artists um, of, of the year. Uh, Ooh, for the of, for the year twenty twenty two. Yeah, may I go first? Yeah, you go first. Yeah, yeah. Right. Go ahead. I'm gonna get my I'll allow three, it. and then I got a couple a uh, couple honorable mentions. Right? Oh, well, you, you don't want to snake it. So, oh, uh, okay. We can snake this it. This nigga said, "I want all of the glory." <laughs> hey, real quick, real quick. Never mind. I'm going to just do it. All right. So, okay. first off, actually, I'm going to go ahead and say Drake. Uh, yeah. Two albums in the year. Honestly, never mind. Her loss. You, you got to give him some credit for that. That is that's yeah. some pretty impressive shit, even though her loss. I mean, honestly, never mind. I like most of it, but, you know, he threw us <laughs> off with that one. Yeah, he yeah. He threw us off with that He's one. He's money. <laughs> I was gonna say the same. My on, number baby. three is the same as yours, Tyler. So, you know, I just think like the fact that he was able to do this whole concept in general, the fact that he completed it in six months' time in the year 2022 was just really impressive. Because yeah. like, even though I didn't really care about, honestly, never mind, it still had songs that was played on the radio for six months straight until he dropped a new mm. album. Yes. So Very like, so. if. He's not a top. He if he's not the top, uh, top hip hop, top three hip hop artist of the year. I don't know who the fuck that <laughs> <laughs> deserves to be in it more. You know, like yeah. so I give him my number three for sure. Yeah. 
What about yeah, you, Casey? Got, uh, 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 Kendrick. Okay. Okay. Yes. Very yes. much so. Yeah. Very I'm much not so. going in numerical order. That's yeah. Oh, Let okay. me tell okay. you. Him coming coming back with the heart part five, mm-hmm. the video, and then yeah, Mr. Miranda Big Seven. I think now, I, and his concert yeah. was just I wasn't oh, there. My. I saw it on Amazon. You watched it on Amazon too? Crazy. I didn't watch it yet. That Dude. shit was such a like a fucking he got the best two vibe. step of all time. He it, got the great come on. Me two I've step. Seen, the clips I've seen it just it looks amazing. I just it, wish I was there. I mean, but you you could tell like I think it's easy for easier for like singers and like pop stars to give you a concert right yeah but i think as a rapper it's hard because it's like fuck i'm spitting bars but i also want to give you an experience and i felt like he definitely provided an experience and like gave the audience what they needed and more if that makes sense and i always feel like he delivers like he's he's somebody and i think this is a tde thing they like hold you know they hold on to their eggs and then they're like, oh, you're dying of starvation. Here is an egg. You know what I mean? Yeah. Scissors. It's you know, a good ass it's like. egg. <laughs> it's good one ass of the best egg. eggs you finna eat. I mean, I like, crack it open, put that shit on a skillet. Oh, my goodness. I could say we could all agree that Kendrick Lamar is in our top three for the year. Yo, yeah. Fact. Yeah, we all agree. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Because, yeah. all right, KC, since we are all, since we, me and Tyler got our two, who's, who's next for you? Uh ooh, now hip hop. I don't. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well, okay. So this would be technically two, but they like had a project together. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say Quay and Take. Mm. Mm. I mean that album. I, I, I think. I, respect I think. It. I right. culture. I'm gonna be honest, and I, I might say some shit that you know might ruffle feathers. Culture three was meh, you know, it was very meh. We know what they could produce. And I think culture three was just something like, hey, like we ain't made noise in a minute. Let's just put some shit out. Hmm. And I think the project with Uncle Few, that was just the the homage they paid to Outkast, the reference, it was just so fucking good. The bars were crazy. And I think, obviously, you know, R.I.P. Takeoff, but I think that was his best. And I think out of all three of them, obviously Takeoff's the better one, but I think they finally found a way to, like, use Quavo's producing abilities, right? Because I think Quavo got an ear, but then also use Takeoff's, like, rhyme skills. And I think it just made for a beautiful collab. Yeah, I think I think uh, that's that's a good choice. I think... If I think it should just be takeoff, mm. because that's fair. Like he's not on, he's not in my top three. I, I have him. I'll, I'll I'll have him as an honorable mention. But I think like yeah, he dropped uh, Uncle Neff with, mm. with with Quavo, but then unfortunately his tragic passing. You really mm. got to see the 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 impact he had on the hip hop community. Yeah, there wasn't anybody. Like this was like the first time that an artist who passed away and was tragically taken from us, like you felt the impact in like the hip hop community. Yeah. So like sure. everybody was down. Like people who don't even like really like listen to mute uh to rap and hip hop was like, damn, that's real sad. Like yeah, it was just like a it. it was just like, yeah, it, he had a huge impact on the year, unfortunately because mm. he passed. So like he yeah, deserves yeah. to be on the list, but yeah. he's he's not in my top three, but he's definitely honorable mention. I like definitely that. my top I three. I like that. Yeah. Um, I want to give the third spot is weird because honestly, I, I I feel like Drake and Kendrick is kind of like it's it's like that's some real easy shit, but they did drop. Yeah. But for me, mm-hmm. I'm going to say Earth Gang. Um, uh, had a solid 2022. I feel okay. like this was really they coming out year. Mm. You know, they was really building, especially in those Revenge of the Dreamers tapes. Uh, and I just feel like what they did for uh, and Ghetto Gods, Ghetto Gods was, uh, I feel like because they dropped so early, mm. it dropped early in the year. So a lot of people may not have, they may have skipped over it, but that was one of the, 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 the best projects in my opinion. And then, 
what they did on the uh the D Day mixtape. Uh, I think they were solid. It, you know, it's, it's, it was weird because I was a toss up between any of the the dream bars that dropped this year with uh, uh, what's it called, Earth Gang or JID. So it was like, you know, which one? But I, I felt like Ghetto Gods really set them apart. See, I'm gonna say JID over Earth Gang simply because JID was on that Ghetto Gods album. And then he was also on that D-Day album. And then he dropped his own album. And, like, basically the whole year we heard J.I.D. Yeah. The whole year from beginning to the end, basically the end, we was listening to J.I.D. We had him in our ears. Now, I know I'm not, I was never the biggest J.I.D. fan until this year. Like, I, lo- I like J.I.D. I, lis- I listened to his music. I respected it. I was just like, I just, there was just nothing for me. Personally, that was like, oh shit, I fuck with JID heavy. Like, I'm gonna go listen to a JID song. He used to be yeah. like, oh, he's featured. Oh shit, he's gonna drop a fire verse. Yeah. Or like, every one of his songs popped out, I listened to it. But like, I would never like went out looking for JID's music. And this year is when he did it, for me mm-hmm. at least. Like, he just, from Ghetto Gods to his own album in the Forever Story, he just was just dropping heat. Um, I think he had like the biggest year in my opinion out of all, every, like out of everybody, out of, even Drake and Kendrick. You think JID had the biggest year? Well, like, m- like music wise, like, I, like not numbers wise, of course, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, just basically like being hurt. Like, maybe it's not the biggest year, but like this is like, this was definitely for me. JID's coming out. Like yeah, okay. I mean, I think he a lot was performing of the at the artists. um, he performed at uh at some award show. Yeah, I can't mm-hmm. remember. He was performing at the uh was People's Choice Awards or some shit like that. Or yeah, one of I the bigger one of the yeah, bigger yeah. ones. And I'm yeah. like, oh, now he's performing at the award shows for the for the for the white people. I'm like, oh, he's but people the people will start recognizing him now. Mm-hmm. I think, think as something. a whole, I think as a whole, this was Dreamville coming out yet. Yeah, how does it? Honestly, you could just say Dreamville, like yeah, you really wanted to. Even though, even though we ain't get, we ain't get like some of the OGs. We still ain't get Cos, we ain't yeah. get Boz, but to have Ari, Earth Gang, JID, and then get D Day, pretty much all in the same year, um, it's pretty impressive. And stick, still stick, go hard. Yeah, that's all go hard. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, yeah, you're right. I think it should just be Dreamville. Yeah, as a collective. Yeah. yeah. That's tough. All right. Mm. You got three, Khadija? Is that was or did you say your three already? My my third one uh <clears throat> goes to Glorilla. I knew oh, you were yes. say that, so I go I left it for you. I left it yeah, for you. Yeah, Glorilla. Yeah. I really so I was watching this uh clip of hers on IG of like basically her year recap. And it's insane to think about how it really just take one song to like Mm. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Cl- yeah. if if it click, you're it. If it's up, it's stuck. Kind of a yeah. thing. And I think I was nervous. I'm not gonna hold you. I so I kind of heard her early shit, and I was like, all right, cool. And I after F and N, I was like, all right, where are we gonna go? Because I I <laughs> hate in rap like yeah. you could one go song. left, or you could go right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. that one. I mean Trinidad James. I mean I'm yeah. sorry, babe, but. You know what I mean? Oof. It was that one song, but it it went nigga, left. Nigga, nigga. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so I think Glorilla is like really proven to like make a name for herself. And I think it's dope that like there's more Southern rappers coming out. Now yeah. I don't know if this is because you know I've been in Houston I, for some I, time, but I, I think I'm. That's I'm, all that's been coming out. Yeah, that's me. all. That's all the hip hop. Everybody from the south now. Everybody from the south. Well, Everybody now, from the south. now I feel like at one point it was really been New like York that for at least like twenty years. I feel like I feel like the really last 20 years. Has yeah, been it's south. really been the south. Like, like New York slowly been dying. Yo, we badass still. I mean, he's still. Well, okay. Here. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. So Bobby out of old. Memphis, I think yeah, Memphis. Atlanta was like the mecca, and it still is the mecca. Yeah. Right, Even like Jay Cole of, from the South. Right, but I think from Memphis, I think we're getting some some heat, and I appreciate it. And yes. I also think I like ghetto bitch rap. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's I want my my friend that's six months pregnant. Come on and twerk on these headlights real quick. 
Yeah. I got a music video I'm shooting. You know what I mean? <laughs> ah, she did have a pregnant woman twerking. And then her friends who also rap, Shabuya. I mean, a girl was pregnant. Yeah. I mean, in the video. I was like, we let us see. But video. you know, well, really can actually rap. I got to get because yeah, she, she I can be, rap I be her trying ass to up. listen. I be trying to listen to, to some. It's of this just people get stuck on her voice. Too. Yeah, but once you get past her voice, she actually. I like her voice you know? though. That's the last. The, if people nah, get stuck it, on it. it then they, I don't. Yeah, she go Nah, hard. I think that's the shit that pulled me in was her voice. Yeah, yeah. Because some of yeah, these, that's what got me. Because I, I was like, oh, from what you say, ghetto bitch, rabbit, toxic situation. Ooh, that was so it. good. You got to clip that. That was that good. was good. <laughs> go ahead, do it again. <laughs> nah, I think I'm, I, I'm able to get it. I'm able to get it. Don't make you get. You can't, you can't catch lightning in the bottle twice. Yeah, you can't catch you lightning know? in the bottle twice. That was yeah. phenomenal. Great. Ah, right, man. That was good. Uh, you got any honorable mentions? Mm, honorable mentions. I'm going to get one more, but go ahead. <sighs> I'm going to have to think. I'm going to have to think. I feel like we should have just expanded this to artists instead of just hip-hop artists. Well, okay, I mean, wait, R&B. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, R&B, R&B going to come next. Chill out. Oh, you better saying. lay low. Yeah, I, I want to give an honorable mention to Vince Staples. I think Ramona Park broke my heart was dope, and the, what he's been doing in the media space mm. has been really cool. Uh, he's yeah, just, he was an Abbott uh, Elementary. Yeah. Yes, he was. He's, <laughs> oh, but his personality is so, like, yeah, Indivi- it's like so him. Like nobody else could do him. There's you know nobody what I mean? like Vince Staples. Like, like one a of a fucking. Con- he was in like today. a Toyota commercial or some shit like that. Yes. I saw a clip Honda, of him today. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. doing an interview and he was like, "Hey, so being sober is underrated." And then he goes like, "How am I supposed to?" And he's like, I, "How are you supposed to go hard? I can't respect you if you doing getting high and 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 shit and you ain't doing crack." Like if you, he was like DMX. <laughs> He was like, DMX, DMX was on that poo-poo, and he was dropping greatness. If you're going to do a drug, you got to do a hard. <laughs> he said, you got to pick a hard one. Yeah, he's like, I can't respect that. <laughs> I fucking did. Oh, God. Oh, wow. He a wild man, but yeah, yeah. His, his his album, this shit, it was good, man. I really no, it was good. It was it good. It was a great uh, build. I think it was the best the album. Last... I think it was the best one, my opinion. I, yeah. It's a toss up because his last joint, Vince Staples, was that was good too. I think this was, was like tough. these two albums together were his best two. He's been yeah, he's been really in his back. He's really like been in he, his back. You know what it is? I think it's just he changed his beats because he used to have some mm. weird beats in my yeah. opinion. No, because remember he used to say he used to make the music specifically f- to get on video games or to be put yeah. in commercials. His music. Oh, I did see that interview where he that. named that because he was like, yeah. "That's where the bread is at." Yeah. yeah. That's who the people. Was, it made sense. Was on the back, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, now looking back at person. it, it makes sense. That's why he did that. Because I used to always be like, "These are some interesting beats." <laughs> like it was never bad. It was just weird. like I just nah. Was like, he was weird. he was he was definitely thinking big picture. Yeah, yeah but I mean, he always he mean he, look at him. Seems like he always has. Yeah, he's yeah. That boy different. So mm-hmm. big shout out. Shoot. Do you want to start a remote podcast? Well, we have the perfect website for you. Riverside.fm, where you can record remote podcasts and video interviews and studio quality from anywhere. Used by over 70 plus thousand creators and Fortune 500 firms. Riverside allows you to upload your video and audio while recording on your web browser itself. That means you don't have to download any apps onto your computer. Riverside also allows you to edit your video and audio on the platform and cut up clips from your recording for social media. So if you're thinking of starting a, a podcast, it's as easy as clicking the link in the description. Thank you. Now let's get back to the show. All right, Casey. Let's move on to your expertise. R&B. Yeah. I love R&B. <laughs> right, go, ahead, go, go ahead, go first. Uh, go ahead, go first I am finna join her cult. Uh, I'm just not going to drink the Kool-Aid. SZA is definitely on my uh, top three, for sure. Uh, I you came you know just someone could have a big year if they could re-release an album for five I, years ago and then drop a new album the same year and still produce numbers. My nigga. I mean, the same talk to buy. Hey, she was like, oh, let's sprinkle in a little something. But this album here, this SOS, this shit, it's, it, she put crack in it. It's cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all the drugs. Snooze is now my favorite it, song. I'm upset. Oh, Snooze is just snooze so, is like. so good. That's a good song. That's some shit you, like, play you and, like. 
like you're Jada working. Jada said it reminds me of her. It reminds it reminds her of me. Maybe wow. this this this. this I'm not gonna listen to it again. Now it made my favorite song. I was like, this is a good oh, song. that's cute. Yeah, that was yeah, that was my favorite for sure when the album dropped. Um, she she a dog. I don't know how to put it. And then, but on top of that, even just uh, well, the single she was dropping was over the course of like two years. Yeah, yeah. she slowly. Been, Who the fuck you know, dropped singles over two over years? Time. That's you that know, TV. I'm yeah. gonna. I have That's a, that shit over I there. Have a, a, I think I might have a, a contribution, a controversial take. Oh, brother. Okay. I think Giveon fizzled out. No, really. Ooh, I think he think fizzled so? out this year. I think he started the year strong and it just fizzled out. But I like this project. That project is I solid. think yeah, what it I, is, his his last project wasn't it was bomb. It was yeah, good. But I will it I will say it didn't have like the longevity like scissors shit does. Like I play her shit no, car. No, no. I'm playing it clean and play. Like no. it doesn't, you know, I play it once and I'm like, all right, cool. Let me Give find me something on. else to play. Giveon was in the when when his first album was out. Giveon was in a position where he had that Drake stamp, and he took yeah. advantage, he took full advantage of the Drake stamp. Yeah, and this shit. R and B artists once they get that Drake stamp, oh, it's over. Oh yeah, it's over. A lot of times. Yeah, and, and this shit, he kind of just he dropped it. He was yeah. like, right, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna I'm get you know give or take with straight though. What made you feel like yeah. he fizzled out? I though? just feel like Giveon with the first album at least. Mm. Like that went into the beginning of this year, like mm. the the train and like the hype. Like he was doing SNL, he was doing all his performances, he was yeah. at every award show, and I feel like he just like I don't know if he took a step back, but I feel like at by the even after he dropped this most recent album, I feel like it didn't have the it it wasn't as I feel like it just wasn't as good as the last one, and then. Mm. If he fizzled out, like he wasn't doing all the performances he was doing for the first album, yeah, like he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he wasn't getting invited to the, you know, it was weird. I'm not saying that he sucks. I'm just saying he kind of fizzled out this year. He had that mic issue that one time. Yeah, and and yeah, and then he had that mic issue that people started thinking he couldn't sing. The nerve to blame on my baby. That was you out of pitch. You couldn't find your note, baby. Yeah, he had that mic issue. No mic. I forgot about that, and I feel like that just like he fizzled it's out. Rest. I'm looking for it. I think that's like when Omarion had that though. mic issue. Well, and then Mario had to remind him. I, but you know what I think? Now, Give 2022 on. was a crazy year. <laughs> Give, it's it's crazy to think that that was all 2022. I think Giveon. My thing with Giveon is sometimes, and this is why I don't like niches. Is sometimes you enter in a realm, especially R and B, where it's like the sad girl or the sad boy or the heartbreaker or the person that gets their heart broke. Like he came in and I think it was fresh. It was new. It was like yeah. different quote unquote. Right. You got that Drake stamp, but I don't think he did. I think he did a lot of promoting, which I will say he was on SNL and yada, yada, yeah. but I don't think he did enough to differentiate his music. Doesn't sound mm. like I, I think you can play his uh, albums back to back and it sound the same. Like maybe the keys change, maybe his like octave or the note. You know what I mean? Like, but it, for the most yeah, part, the it's like the sound is the sound is beautiful. Good, it sounds beautiful. No, the sound is good. But what I'm saying is, it's like two sides of the same coin. You like at some point, from, people want to get something. Switch new. it up, yeah. I yeah. Gotcha. You, you think he? You think he's suffering from the 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 the, the same illness the baby got? What illness? We'll is that? see. The we'll baby have to see. Lot. I don't well, think so. Well, he just can't. I don't think so. Every song sound the same. No, I don't. No, know. I wouldn't even say. I wouldn't now. Okay. Now, no, I'm just asking. No, I'm asking this question. This yeah, question. yeah. I wouldn't. Put I don't him think. In that. I'm just asking. I wouldn't put. You him calling in that. a duck a chicken? No. I see what you're saying, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. No, no. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just asking. Who else? Uh, um, are we I'm gonna a, say? I'm gonna I'm go with Money Long, man. Yeah. Yes. Go money long. Man. That performance was great. Hey. She finally hey. put all that music together. <laughs> Yeah. I could do it for hours. First of all, shout out to anybody who knows her as Priscilla Renee. My real R&B heads, please stand up. This money long shit, this is new. I was weirder <laughs> yes, when she yes. was talking about, this ain't a doll. I ain't a doll house. Yeah, yeah. I was fucking weirder when that shit was a little, where the fuck are we going, Priscilla? You know? Where <laughs> the, what are we Priscilla. doing? Yeah. I love, I, I, I'm a fan. 
of the music she's been putting out is like real solid. And then like each mm-hmm. of her projects as has been, at least on a subject standpoint, has been different. And uh, I, I mean, she could make music for days. You mean, we already know she's been songwriting for hours, music, like eight years or hours. <laughs> she's been songwriting for like eight years. I already know it's more to come. Yeah, her but, pen goes crazy. I, I, th- I don't think people. It's her and Eric Bellinger. Their pen goes their wild. Pen, yeah, Eric Bellinger's mm. pen is good. I don't his really pen, to his music. Yeah, I don't really. His yeah. pen is good. His, his pen his, is great. Okay, this is my thing. Is he does? I feel like he doesn't release his own music often. But when he does, it's like, oh, shit. Like, cuffing season? Think that whole it's project. It's hard for me to hear a whole Eric Bellinger project. That's I can see that. I could definitely see that. He's, I, I would, yeah. Mm, I can see that. But he can write us. He can write some songs. He I can write his ass off. Who you got? I Jack? think he wrote. Oh, he wrote record. "Fine China" by Chris Brown. See, see. Well, for Chris Brown, he's probably still getting paid off of that right now. I'm telling you, that's one who example. Got, um, who you got, Jay? I got one, but I don't want to say it because I know Khadijah wants to say it. Go ahead. Oh, so who you else say. you got? Merry um, Christmas. <laughs> I don't want to say. It. You got to do something. Say something cool about it. I'm just gonna agree. I'm no, to just say it. Of course, obviously, Beyonce. Come on, Beyonce. <laughs> I knew where he was going. I just wanted you to drive the car. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? Yeah. I'm going to tell you what's so crazy. Beyonce dropped an album this year. I wasn't even thinking Beyonce, and I'll tell you why. I don't want to. Because he was respect. thinking small. You need to be thinking big. No, because Beyonce to me, like, I, like I've said before, Beyonce is her own genre, and I really put her in, pop, in more in popular music, even though I know it's soulful. I know it got that feel, mm. but I don't really put it in the R&B category. She is like Beyonce music. She is Sounds like an excuse. Music, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying mm. to, you know, no. That's just me. That's just me. I just was yeah. like... <laughs> You kind she's of still know. charging. You know when people R&B. like, hey, that's but, but that's what I would do. You can say what you want. You can say what you want, T. But she's still charging R and B. She's still no, charging R and B. I think I. You know what? What I will say is Beyonce continues to break barriers, and I Very feel nice like song. music, musical wise, musically, excuse me, I feel like she proves time and time again, like black people have started it. We're always gonna finish it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I think like they're like cool. And I, to your point, Tyler, I think you are absolutely valid, right? You can look at her album and pick out a disco song. You can look at her album, pick out a bat R and B ballad. You can pick out a country song. Like, there's not a catalog of music that she hasn't tapped into and done like while being still Beyonce. She like, I feel like a genre. lot of yeah, I feel like a lot of artists can get lost in. Uh, doing other genres and it's like, ooh, that didn't mix well, right? Yeah. There's not a lot of artists that can go into very different genres fluidly and just like without a hitch, you know? Yeah. No, she, I mean. Pretty much the best. I I still listen to Renaissance and I'm telling you right now, I hardly ever go back and listen to Beyonce. But I can't. I okay. You didn't need to say that. Like second part. No, no, that's a big. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, Khadija. No, no. Look, I got a couple of her songs on a couple of my playlists. Like, what's your favorite Beyonce song? And then I can like judge. You are my favorite Beyonce song. Mm -hmm. Me, Mm -hmm. myself, and I. Okay, you valid. Just had to make sure everyone got a favorite Beyonce song. Oh yeah, yeah. And if you don't, myself and I, red flag. Love on top. And, dangerously uh, in love. I, That's my, I forget the third one. Me and my dangerously oh, dangerously in love. in love is a good oh, one. Oh, dangerously in I'm love. In love right. with you. Yeah. You set me free. Ooh. Sorry. That's right. a good one. That's a good. One. Yeah. I like. I personally like resentment. Fuck that bitch. I gotta listen to that I'm again. Too. I, ain't get that. I don't know that song, but I'm gonna listen to. I'll you don't know. Uh, y'all know resentment. That's the one where she's like, "That bitch ain't even half of me." Oh, oh, yeah. and uh, lemonade. Yeah, yeah, this so yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. that she did it on that tour, but that wasn't that album. Oh, okay, I heard it on the tour. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, tour. maybe this, album I remember four? this on the tour because yeah. she sang. Was that the one she sang in that big ass yellow dress? Yep. And after that, Jay Z came out with "Song Cry." <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I feel like look at you ain't shit. Fuck you. I got to see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, big shout out to Ari Lennox. Yeah. Hey, ballot. Yeah, she yeah, had a solid sure. year. Solid year. Very oh, much so. Very not solid. Not a huge year. year, but it was solid. Solid. Um, she was not forgotten. 
I think no, I think before Scissor, I think she was she was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She wasn't for guys. Yeah, like, I mean, get it lost was, but he's saying like it, it, it's not. It wasn't like a oh shit Ari, but it was like Ari. You know what? Solid you year. That. First of it's all, it's a consistent the, year. It's a the, consistency. The, it's always key. The EP. I thought yo real talk. I thought the EP might have been better than the album. A little bit. A little mm. bit. I but I mentioned this before that I thought the EP was better than the album. Yeah, it's a yeah. whole album to me. I just listen. I yeah, listen to them together. I listen to the through. EP, then go straight to the album. It's you like one of the songs. Oh shit! And once again, Dreamville. She the songs that she had on D Day was amazing. Yeah, yeah. The song, she had a Blackberry Sap and um, I'm coming down. Like she oh yeah, that was it. She yeah, I'm coming it. down. Oh, that was good. That yeah. was it right there. Yeah, and I think she was on Damn. a couple other jumps. Um, so oh, I would say her features one. this year have been Chef's Kiss. I think yes. end of maybe 2021 to into this year, her features have been Chef Kiss. The Summer yeah. Walker feature was fire. Yeah, that yeah. shit was fire. Yeah. She's been solid. Shout out yeah, Summer man. Walker. She had twins. Oh, good for her. Twins. Oh, yeah, That's she did. That's why she her did. belly she was did. so big because she had two of them like, in there. But it's okay. I was like, dang, her belly got huge, but she had two of them in there. That makes sense. And she yeah. gave birth health, health, I was going to say healthily, healthy, uh, so That's she didn't good, need all that extra other shit. You know what oh. I mean? They, yeah, they were trying good. to push her with some other drugs and induce Oh, she had a natural shit. birth? Very natural. Erica Badu delivered her kids. Oh, 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 oh that's <laughs> beautiful. That's you dope. know what? I'm finna She's a, Erica Badu's a doula. Yes. Yeah, I heard mm. that. I yeah, so I, I mean, I would allow Erica to deliver my kid. As Who well. else in the R and B world had a good? I'm gonna year? give a. Uh, I'm gonna give a man. Shout out Brent Fire. Yeah, Brent Fire as always. Brent Fire as always. Most toxic man of all time. I like toxic Brent. I love Brent motherfucker. Fire. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I don't feel like the album as a whole was that good. Yeah, mm. but the hits was hit. Yeah, and do. I think that's what saved it though. That's why because I feel the same do. way. The whole the whole thing as a body of work, mm, I, mm, but the hits were like I mean, I feel bangers. like with girls, I feel like that with most of Brett Fires' albums. To be honest, See, I feel this, like this was hey. the first one. This was the first album the, I was like, I don't really feel this one. I, don't I feel really like about like most you know of the albums, I was like, hits I, be hitting. I only have a I, couple. I can see that. I think really? the songs yeah, I, I end up liking on his albums are the shit that are his hits. Yeah, like I, 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 I haven't I had a whole full album experience with Brett Fias that was like, ooh. He's yeah, front to deep. back, no. Yeah, I no. think I think though he has the potential to be a top like you know how Giveon did that at the mm. beginning of the year? I feel like Brett Fias has the potential to have a year like that. Hmm. Mm. That's For sure. interesting. Um I don't know. I love Saunderson. That's probably like my favorite. Don't. No, nah, that was a good album. I'm just saying there hasn't been an album where like I like the song. I like the deep cuts. Mm. Mm. Okay. No, I okay. think I think Jay's on to something. I think he's valid. I'm gonna throw yeah. one out there. This is not a shout out. I just want to let y'all. I just want to ask y'all about this artist. Mm. Um, what do we think about Division uh, this year? What do we think? Uh, the song was I funny. I can't. Yeah, that's about it. He's done too I, much pop. I, they've done too much pop songs, in my opinion, for me. Like, I like can't it. really speak on division because I don't. When I when I talk about my R and B shit or my hip hop shit, I like to fe- be submerged in that person, and so I can't really give you a concrete like, oh, I fuck with it. Mm, no, because I just don't know enough of his shit. Like in the stuff yeah. I heard, is it's cool, but I've not enough for me to be like, oh, I gotta listen to the rest of it. Like I put my shit on shuffle and his shit pops up. It just is like a coincidence. Anybody else? Uh, you got KC. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan, but that was technically last year. Yeah, that was last yeah. year. Yeah, Y'all that's not really this year. singer. Her name is like Am Ambry or Amber A M B R E. I've been meaning Ombre? to listen to her album. With an A, I've been to listen to her album, but it's uh. Cause she been featured a lot on, on a lot. Of you know, uh, one of the Isley Brothers' children is a singer now. Oh, really? I, hey, Ronald Isley, low key, should be on. This. <laughs> I'm dead. 
He got to get it. What a, I think it's his daughter or his granddaughter that's the oh, same. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alex. Is it Alex Eyes? You know, I think, yeah, I think it's Alex Eyes. You know who I'm going to give a shout out to? Even though I don't know if they dropped the album this year. I'm going to give a shout out to Tank because he dropped a podcast this year. When we. R- was it R&B money? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, podcast yo, for R&B money. Oh, his R&B hey. money podcast. Hey, but it's it. so good. It's yeah. good. I love the episode I, he had Ari on. I was like, yes. get that. Yeah, Jamie sure Foxx on there. Into some good conversation. Yeah, yeah Jamie Foxx on there. Jamie Foxx hate how they light the episodes. I hate the lighting of them. It hurts my eyes. But it's very like dark. It. It's very yeah. dark, and the lights really harsh. They're really hard to light. It's not warm. Yeah, not, not warm. warm. Not warm. He's they can warm it up R&B a little bit. Back. He, he brought R and B back a little bit. Yeah, He's, I like the I like to hear the stories. Hey, yeah. but I, I know this doesn't really count because he didn't drop nothing new. Usher. I mean, this is I mean Ooh. You know this what? nigga. He had a trend though. That he tiny desk. That tiny desk was that, different. That's right here. Yeah. Hey, uh, I just want to shout out Usher because I one of my TikToks, hey. I'm literally just breathing and he is just doing his thing. And I got like a thousand something uh, plays, <laughs> three hundred, you know, a whole bunch of likes. I, shout out to Usher, that nigga's I the real. Yeah, after his tick, after his tiny does, I'm like, oh man, I just went back, started listening to Superstar. Yeah, it was. He got great I songs. don't think we yeah. really understood, or let me speak for myself. I don't think I understood the the beauty of that album. You know what it is? Oh, Confessions. Yeah. yeah, 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 because it was wrapped in so much drama. But that yeah. album right. is amazing. That album it is bangers. Amazing. Now she married a white man. Chili married a white man. Hey, I'm on my business. We know who he is. He's from some show. I forget what they go. Oh, he's I, he's from uh he's from Boy Meets World. All I'm gonna say is she married it was a, a brother, brother that probably World. heard her. Usher. You know what it is? I think Usher don't get the respect he deserves now because he got corny and he got older. He got corny. Uh, Usher's you know what? Corny, it, nope, he didn't get corny. He got herpy. Mm, Remember that herp- shit kind of went I left for a hot the minute. Herps. You know what I mean? Had herpes, oh, spreading that shit like, out like it was peanut butter. Maybe it's I just like me. Usher had to move after a certain way, point. Usher was moving in a way where he wouldn't drop the bag, and I think to a lot of people that can be considered corny. Mm, I, yeah, mm. I think. Like I we think the around, fumbling smiling. the shit in. Yeah, when yeah, he started we doing the pop, smiling, more poppy sounding song. music, is when I lost him. Yeah. Oh, good with no way. Yeah. Nah, nah, that's hey, good shit. That's a good song. Yeah. I just hate what they do to it. I hate what they no. do to the song. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I hate what the Traded Places Climax. was a great song. Man. Damn, I need to drop an album. This Traded is Places. Hey, that like is, I said, oh, in August, we're going to make a music little, video. Little, little, I'm going to make it. You guys are going to perform. Daddy's home. We're going to make a you song. Daddy's that was a good song, too. Oh, oh, Mary. oh, daddy. That's a good song. Hey, what about Summer Walker? I feel like I, that, she did I think she's features. Gonna, I think she's going to be an honorable mention for me. I think she spent think, the whole year pregnant, so she wasn't really uh, performing like that. No, she definitely wasn't, but I think like she's somebody that now she's another one who I was hip to before Early. she like all the hype and all that other shit. Before the Drake feature. Yeah, when she was, you know, like, <laughs> oh, she she is a real R&B artist and I think hopefully she kind of goes back to that. She had an EP called Riot. Whole shit is yep. beautiful. Yep. I mean, be, a beautiful, like to the front to back and it's not a lot of songs. I think it's like 4 or 5. But that's all you need. Mm. That's all you need. Hey, my oh. last one, my my last one. I, you gotta say Tim's, and she didn't drop. Yes, year, well, but her feature on the Future ooh. joint. I mean, that shit's still going hard. And then you know she did sing "No No Woman No Cry" for Black Panther. Yeah. So she may get an Oscar. She, she she the the little the little snippet from <laughs> of her, her EP being used in the Future joint. That shit go crazy. It do. <laughs> hey, she had, but does she count as R and B or Afro beats? I all oh, I've always considered her Afro R and B. Okay. You know what I'm okay. <laughs> you know, I respect I it. She did have a large year. I mean, yeah. she went from from that from an EP to fucking singing a song for Black Panther. And she won the Yeah. <laughs> <That's international. laughs> everybody. Everybody. Oh so, yeah. Um, nah, that's cool, man. All right, what's the next topic? Hey, shout out to him, man. Uh, 
Well, just, you know, I, I'm all about manifestation. You know what I mean? I okay. did me a little vision board. You know, I got the dare to talk. I got the no clearance. I got, like, the 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 verification. Like, I'm all about manifesting. We're speaking in this beautiful energy. And I was reminded of the power of the tongue, the power of the word that you speak into that air. Yo, God, he finally got Angela. God damn it, I'm <laughs> proud of you, kid. God damn it, I'm proud. I mean, he, I, I've never met a man shoot his shot knowing the hoop wasn't there. You know what I mean? <laughs> the hoop wasn't there because she Not was involved with somebody. There. She was dating somebody. I think when he dropped yeah. that and yeah. very much so like damn near engaged. Now, I fast forward. I, I think that was 20, 2016. 2015. 2015. God damn. Got it. Right? Fast forward. Phew. 2022 slash 2023. He's in them draws. In, in them Call draws. him a tampon. Yeah. What they say up in them guts. <laughs> you know what I mean? A, a, the it's power of present. manifestation. It's if very you doubted present. it, believe it now. You know? The only person, oh, the only person that, 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 that did bet, had the better glow up is me. But I don't want to talk about it. I digress. <laughs> <laughs> you not lying. You not lying. I, 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 oh, fuck. You know? <laughs> You know, I, I know a lot of brothers that's going through the power of manifestation trying to get with some ladies right now, and I wish them the best. You stick with it, King. You stick you with got, it. You got it's consistency it, is key. Yes. I know you a solid. I don't mean, don't let those it, negative thoughts come in. And there's a thin line between creepy and and, and uh, what's the other word? Um, it begins with a no, P. No, persistent. We, we, you stay patient. You don't have to force nothing. You stay. You yeah. Know, she every now and then. She hey, your daddy with she it. come around when she come around. Go mess with some other shorties. Because as Khadijah likes to say, there's a lot of fuck niggas in the world. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like you out. just got to stay even, solid. Yeah. Even if sometimes she may be blinded by the fuck nigga. Keep your heart three stacks. Yeah. Keep your heart. Even if she be blinded by the fuck nigga, eventually yeah. she will come your way. Eventually she will look your way. <laughs> And you just gotta stay patient. I don't mean to, that. Don't mean be sitting there waiting. Sometimes when she look your way, you might be looking another way too. But eventually, y'all look both the same way. You know. Eventually, you guys will both look across the street at each other. Oh, I can't thing. see I'm uh, You know what, Jay? What are you manifesting for 2023? What are you oh. manifesting? I'm manifesting. Come on. I'm manifesting. Preach, preacher. Honestly, I see money. I mm. want money. I and see green and I'm not talking collard greens. I want some cheddar. I see cheddar in the, I'm, I, I see it in the future. I see it in Provolone, 2023. Swiss, whatever you want to call it. I see it coming in abundance. I see it coming in little bits of spurts. I see it coming. No, no. No, I'm not, I don't need the little spurts. Way. I need it to, to no, flood. No, no, no. I, I need a little see sprinkle. money coming. I see little okay. bits of money coming. I see large chunks of money coming. I coming at different times. It's going to come mm. all over the place. That's disgusting if you listen. <laughs> but I see okay. money. That's all I I'm saying. It. And it's like I'm really buckling. We really buckling down and focusing on the content. Yeah. Like, fuck. I don't, I don't care if people like this shit no more. Oh. We gotta like this shit. <laughs> Cash rules everything I've been around not, me. I've really get been the money. Not if people fuck me, dollar dollar bill, y'all. I thoroughly enjoy doing this every week, and we putting our all into it. I just know the outcome gonna come. It ain't my decision. Hey, That's get 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 up on this bus <laughs> now. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> the price is going up. Yeah. <laughs> get shit. It. I tell you, um, I'm a manifest execution. For the last for 2022, I've been letting a lot of things. I let a lot of things linger just in life in my home. Linger at work. The steps. <laughs> and a lot work. of things. The steps specifically, the steps. you know. <laughs> but I really felt like 2022 made me realize that uh, what's the imposter syndrome? My is gone. Like, hey, wait do, a minute. I can do whatever I put my, I could do. What I'm doing, I can do it. Like, especially mm. for for those for those who don't know, I'm a software engineer. I code for a living. And for a long time, niggas be like, can you do this? And I'll be like, shit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? 
And uh, I don't put myself through a lot of shit last year, just like getting mm. better at this craft. And I'm like, you know what? You for I one, got you gotta shit. change my mindset. Like anything's possible. You ask me to do something, be like, anything's possible. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I'm just even like, though nah, it'd be bro, annoying, I feel you. Mm. So I'm gonna ask you, like, mm-hmm. hey, I don't know mm-hmm. if I can do this shit, bro. I'm not sure. But you gotta change the mindset. You gotta yeah. be like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna try. And that, you know, mm-hmm. even with my house, sometimes my wife be wanting me to fix some shit, and I'll be like, I don't know how to do that. I can't see <laughs> but him. I gotta least, I, you're right. I got to at least go for it. She want me to hang pictures up. And like, hey, 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 it ain't me. <laughs> I ain't Get yourself a level in the drill. <laughs> Hey, so the bubble got to be in the middle, babe. You know yeah. what I mean? So. No, well, hey, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to put the whole little bubble, motherfucker, but hey, fuck it. Fuck it. This yeah. shit, fuck it. I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. Shit. <laughs> we no clearance, nigga. Then we going to fix it back. Yeah. Yeah. No clearance, nigga. 2023 execution. You feel me? Execution. I like that. I like it. Execution. I like it. Indeed. Oh, that's mm-hmm. good. 2023 is going to be the year of no clearance. I've been saying this all, all, I've been saying it for weeks. 2023 is the year of no clearance. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The year of no clearance. Nothing is stopping us. Nothing. Can't we stop. Ain't. Won't mm. stop. Go with nowhere. Uh uh-uh. uh. We ain't. Uh-uh. Haters going Going hate. nowhere. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Haters going to hate. Because it's. Love is no going to love. Is for life. <laughs> hey, there you go. I knew I trusted you with that. You know what I mean? I was like, nah, Tyler, Tyler going to take care of me. He got it. Uh, Khadija, what, uh, how was the vision board? How was that process? You did it on Canva or something? I, so I have, I've done vision boards like, like physical, like on poster or whatever. Um, I don't, I'm not going to buy like magazines and shit. You know how much magazines yes, cost? Delicious. Fuck that. The vision's yeah. going to go into what the fuck I'm paying for. So I usually, this is my third year doing it on Canva. And I, I, get, I do. I, I put my R&B music on. I shut everything off. Uh, it is really just a time for me. I've learned through the years, less is more. Yes. Mm. I think some people's vision boards are very overwhelming. And this is not to say like there's a criteria for vision boards, but for me, myself, I get easily overwhelmed. So I need to think like smaller and bite size. So when I think about like my vision board, I put it into domains and then I'm like, all right, cool. What are some like pictures that will remind me of that like goal or that aspiration? Does that make Mm. sense? Like, yeah. when I put on our logos, it's thinking of, like, being consistent, being about the content, elevating the content, um, execution, ways to, like, really make sure that we're taking it to the next level. Um, I put, what else did I put? I put a picture of my family and friends, like, just, like, continuing to ground me because I think what I don't want to happen is, like, you you get so lost in the hoopla I don't want to lose myself. Does that make mm. sense? Yeah. Like I want to be grounded. And so in order to be grounded, you need to have your people around you. Um, so less is definitely more. And it took me a little bit of time. Like it, I'm not going to hold you. It took me like a cool two hours because I'm not doing a lot of pictures to figure out, okay, what's going to make the cut kind of a sh- shit. But I recommend people make a I'm vision. Good, though. I feel I, like, I like that. Yeah. I, I'm ready to, to cut some shit down. Just in general, <laughs> like mm. I feel like I be doing. I don't really think I'm busy until I. Start you a busy ass nigga, Tyler. You a businessman. You a chill. Me uh. and Jalen be like, but you be like, nothing. You a busy man. Tyler, well, I, be, I be trying to let y'all finish. He has. He has. <laughs> Tyler has his hands in a lot of buckets. It's not even that, bro. I mean, if you don't hear from me, I'm at. He's work. a lot of pots. Yeah. That's the word. A lot of hands. Yeah, a lot of pots. Yeah, I don't. That's the word. Because when I hear bucket, I'm thinking mop, man. I'm not thinking of mopping yeah. the floor. So hey. don't hear from me. I'm at work. I, I feel like I'm. I be chilling, man. I really be chilling. You know, I just got a wife. Nigga be chilling too much. Oh my god, you just my man, my man, my man. 
Oh, I'm so I'll proud of you, Jalen. I'm, I'm trying to man. He's like, I just be, I just got a wife, man. I got a wife too. <laughs> no, mommy, you got me. I don't want you to forget it. Damn that. Damn that wife. Damn that. I don't want you to forget it. Damn that wife. Oh hey, God, I can't wait to be the, the Tyler of my friends. Please, uh, did you? I can't wait to I, understand. What oh I'm man. Saying. Hey, so what you doing next week? Hey, you know my husband. This bitch. I'm just saying. Yeah. I be, yeah, I be hey, with Jada. Husband, just, I be with Jada be like, you want to do that? You want to do that? Go ahead. <laughs> We're gonna be like, oh, you want to? You want to go? Hey, go ahead with your girls. Shit, let me sit my ass down. <laughs> Is I that what you want to do? Without oh hey, God. that's the All energy right. I need though. I hey. see if you know Pop out do hood rat shit every now and then, <laughs> twerking on some headlights. Oh, oh man. man, but what a time. First hey, but what, can we can we can we get on the mic though? Can we talk about the elevation? Can we talk about how we're expanding? Can we talk about where these motherfuckers can oh, find us? Can we talk about how we how we putting the money where the fucking mouth is? Yep. Yeah, let's God, talk about damn. it. Let's, let's do talk it. about it. May I? May I? Or, or should we? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into this. Talk situation. your shit, nigga. Right, let's talk, let's talk. Come on, right, get in the off, laboratory, create some. Off, uh, you are now tuned into the motherfucking greatest no clearance podcast. That's no more gang. One. Okay, this is where you come to hear about all this other shit we got popping. All right, so that's number one. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday on the audio, every Friday on the YouTube. Make sure on YouTube, hit your yep. notification and subscribe. Leave us a five-star mm-hmm. review and a, uh, leave us a five-star rating and review on the mm-hmm. audio podcast. Now, first up, we got Khadija. Okay, Khadija also has a podcast called Dare to Talk. This yep. is on third season. Third season of Day to Talk, but the best part about this season is backed by no clearance media. You know what yeah. that means? She Jay got a team and, behind her now. She got a team. She got a thinking big black bitches. Black men behind her. You understand me? Okay. That drops every other week. Okay. It's dropping on the Patreon as well as, you know, we drop it to the public. But the Patreon, Patreon gets it first. And I'm yes. talking about that in a second. Patreon gets it first. All right. Now, on top of Dare to talk. All right. We got something else coming in the future. We got something else coming in the future that we've been God working damn, on. there's more? There is so <laughs> much more. My dog, Jalen. All right, we got a movie show coming soon where we yes. review some real solid-ass movies. I can't wait till y'all see this, okay, because Jay really be doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And all I got to do is it's with me and Jay. All I got to do is watch the movie and talk some shit. I write a script out. Back. I write a they, script. They really be Come on, talking. Spike J. I'm telling y'all. Write scripts so I, so I can learn Jay, this shit. They has expanded my movie palette. I've been watching some shit that's like, damn, I would have never watched it if it wasn't for the He thing. has a childish palette, y'all. I don't it's know if y'all remember. Big, I got a black palette. It big shout out to my dog, Jay. <laughs> it ain't black. The no Clans movie show is coming soon. Y'all be on the lookout for that. And finally, okay, we have our it's sports been for a podcast. Minute. <laughs> We got our sports podcast known as Technically Athletic, hosted by me, Tyler Lindsay. Okay, Technically Athletic, man. I'm interviewing different student at- or former student athletes, retired student athletes, mostly the people I play with. Okay, but it's it could be anybody that's gone all the way through the ranks. You know what I'm saying? High school, college, and all that, whatnot. But we get to uh, know people a little bit better through Technically Athletic. Technically Athletic mm-hmm. dropped early on the Patreon as well. And the Y'all picking up on the vibes or what? Never dare to talk isn't on. Technically athletic is coming. Just remember that. And you got to understand, you can catch all of this early on the No Clearance Patreon. If you don't know what a Patreon is, okay, it is a what they call a paywall. It is what they call a subscription service, okay. And they're like, nigga, what the fuck you gonna give me for the money? Well, for five dollars a month. That's it. Just one Starbucks cup a month. <laughs> you get there to talk early before anybody else. God you get damn. technically athletic, athletic early before anybody Lord. else. Lord. You get to put in on what we discuss on the No Clearance Podcast. Five dollars a month. You get four. Four podcast shows. Four? four. For the price of five? Yep. Whoa. Yes. And you got to understand that even if you just want to help us, if you give us $5 a month, 
I promise you we will take this thing far. Five dollar. This thing on five dollar foot long. Sound better than it was. If you just want to see us grow, you just want to see us develop. Just think of it as invested in us, mm. and you get a return. Okay. Patreon.com slash no clearance. Is that it, Jack? Yeah, that's it. Patreon.com Supp- slash support no us. Yeah. Support black yes. podcasts. We matter. Yeah. Hey, y'all p- start paying us. We better just be doing some burn- bonus episodes that's only on the Patreon. You're Ooh, saying some behind saying. the scenes. Ooh, switch. Hold on, we hold on. Trip all I want Too hot. Don't that's play with I it. Really Don't play want. with it. Right? I can't Get- wait till we just take all this shit off the public and we just give it to our Patreon members. I promise uh, you. I don't know. I don't know about all that, but you know. I- Promise. All right, but flow with it, flow with it, flow with it. One band, one, one band, one sound. Flow with it. We talk about it on the back end. Yeah. <laughs> I will go exclusive. Like we might put crack on the Patreon. Yeah. Mail it to <laughs> your house. Saying, we probably gonna get some sponsorships too. We gonna we gonna get paid from the sponsors. I'm just saying. We got Fuck some sponsors coming. Fuck Fair. with it. But yeah, we got a lot going for 2023, man. We just hope y'all. Stay for the ride, support us, see our growth. I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing it with these people specifically. You know what I'm saying? We are some dedicated folk. It's hard to find people out here that are dedicated. You know, a lot of people do it one time and give up, but uh, smoke with me one time. We here. One time. We here, drink, man. Drink. I'm just thinking of a lyric, but I can't think of one. <laughs> <laughs> smoke. Oh, uh, but yeah, Mama. we got a lot of moves coming. This year, 2023 tape. is the year of no clearance. I'm telling you. Clear it now on January 3rd at 9 12 p.m. Well, it's the year of no clearance. Just wait. No wait till Dead to Talk comes. Y'all gonna be like, damn. This shit. Hell different. y'all. Sheesh. Hey, but the hey, we got but, video hey, let me, now. Let, we got let, let me video. get. Get on the mic here. Uh, uh, uh. Talk that talk. Talk that talk. On Dare to Talk channel, it's not just going to be podcast sessions because no, that's, that's thinking too small. I'm talking about drinks with Casey, cooking Ooh. with Casey, Ooh. blogs, get ready with me. You Ooh. know, if y'all think I got personality on the podcast front, just wait till you see me try to blend out a fucking contour. That shit is hard. Check it out. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit the goddamn bell. So you don't miss nothing because I'm dropping a lot of little tidbits that make its way on the Patreon and then make its way to the YouTube channel. So you want to make sure that you are subscribed to both. Come on. Mm. Support the kids. Yes. No clearance. Hey, no. y'all know who we talking to when we ask you to give us $5 a month. Don't be a cheap <laughs> nigga. Okay. Now, I know I know what you're saying, Tyler. How dare you? You cheap ass Nick. <laughs> well, I promise Damn. you this. Well, Tyler, if we get cheap. fifty, yeah. if we get even fifty, I will stop being cheap. <laughs> we I know. Oh, now he's telling, he's telling bold stop lies yeah, on this. On I'll this put lies. it on everything, bro. I'm gonna stop it. If, if a cheater got above, spots, if we get fifty, you still so gonna be cheap. Patrons. Yeah, this is get ten if patrons. We get fifty patrons. Oh, I will okay. find first class to Houston. <laughs> That's people. not enough to cover oh, that so you flight, play. All the money to fly. It, it don't have to cover the flight. I know. Oh, okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. Fly for I was gonna say, damn, nigga. I was like, damn. Damn. I was like, shit, we ain't get a cut. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what we're saying is, y'all need to help us out. Get this bread up. Yes. Stack your no cookies clearance. up before they crumble. Hey. Ooh, that's deep. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you stop paying us. We a brother could quit his job. Hey, and I think really getting to the root of it, right? <laughs> Brother could quit his job. This be my job. A sister, I'd, I'd love for this to be my can job. Quit her this, job. <laughs> this is a great job to have. I feel like do this for you a know, job. You know, we just get to talk shit all day. I mean, yeah, it's easy. I'm not we mad at it. Live stream stress. I'll update my. I'll upgrade my Wi-Fi. Swear to God, I'll upgrade my Wi-Fi. Shit, it's gonna be very hard for me to stop work. <laughs> <laughs> I get paid too much. That nigga give me too much money. Oh, <laughs> meanwhile, I'm, I'm saying the same thing. It's been very hard for me to quit working too. I'm just saying. We get. I'm a patients. teacher. It's not that hard. Give me a poor job. We and get. Juice we, and I'm, hey, I'm sold. eventually we gonna start making some more tears. Just saying, we got one tear right now. 
We make we could make a Ooh. more expensive tier, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, we have a hundred dollar mm-hmm. tier. We we get someone to sign for a hundred dollars. Shit. We're gonna, we gonna do a Nipsey. We're gonna do a Nipsey. Yes. $100. Fuck I, with I, it. I, I, Come on, fuck with it. Fuck hey, with but, us. Uh, yeah. Beautiful thing. Episode Has this been one. another episode? Stay blessed, y'all. Stay black. Peace.